Hello, everybody. Welcome to my channel. I'm Elena Bain, your intuitive holistic lifestyle coach, psychic medium. Now, today's video is how do you connect with spirit? I get so many of my clients that say, Elena, how do you connect with the spirits? How do you connect with your spirit guides? I wish I could listen to my intuition more. I wish I could develop it more. How do I do it? So that's what this video is going to be all about. And it's actually in three simple steps. But before I get into the video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button at the bottom. And at the if you like this video, at the end of the video, hit me a thumbs up, please. It really helps out my channel and I am truly grateful for your support. So here we go. How do you connect with spirit? Before I get into the three simple steps on how to connect with spirit, you need to have an understanding of what needs to happen for you to be able to connect with spirit. It's actually a lot more work for spirit to connect with us than it is for us to connect with spirit. So they have a lot more work on their end. But what we have to do, we need to raise our vibrations. Spirit actually has to lower their vibrations for us to meet in the middle. So it's a lot more work for them lowering their vibrations than for us raising our vibration. So that's what needs to happen for you to actually connect with spirit. So how do you do that? Well, the first step is you have to establish some sort of routine, a meditation routine where you get grounded and you are totally unplugged from all distractions. That's number one, unplug from all distractions and set up a meditation routine that is absolutely vital for your spiritual practice or if you just want to connect with spirit um, unplug from all social media make sure dogs pets they're not in the room with you kids aren't screaming just outside your bedroom door wherever you can find a quiet grounding place that will be where you do your practice. And you have to do your practice daily. It's not something you just do once and then you think it's gonna happen. No, you have to, it's all about consistency because spirit knows if you're consistent, then like, oh, you really wanna have a connection with me. Okay, I will do my damnedest to lower my vibration to meet you. But if you're consistent in raising your vibration, we will meet. But if you're not consistent, it's not gonna happen. So set up a routine. So for me personally, I meditate every evening. I will put my earbuds in. I'll listen to a guided meditation while I lay, I lay down in bed. I don't sit up and meditate. I do my deep breathing. I'll do the Shakti mat uh, for about 30 to 45 minutes. I'm not saying you have to lay on a bed of nails or anything like that. But I listen to a guided meditation every single evening. And I also do a quick meditation every morning, just about five minutes. As soon as I wake up, I just start taking three deep breaths and I say a little prayer to my divine spirits and angels. Thank you for this day. Please lead me in a direction where I can serve others and see all opportunities that come towards me. I am surrounded by divine white light and I offer peace and love to everyone. And I just do a five minute meditation and i'm and i already say thank you to my spirits thank you for being with me for today and showing me what it is i need to sh see today or what i need to learn today and i always thank my uh spirits in advance so that's my meditation routine every single night and in the morning i say a quick little prayer and i get grounded and then i start my day so you absolutely have to start a meditation routine absolutely is it going to be frustrating for you in the beginning 100 percent. when i first started meditating i couldn't sit still i'm a very type a personality type it was hard for me to just sit still and shut off the chatter in my head but with practice it does come so don't ever give up on it because it will come i promise you the second thing you need to do to enhance your connection with spirit is you have to understand something Spirit is always there to help you. Your guides are always there to help you. But with what? You need to be specific on what you want them to help you with. They just don't know, right? So you have to understand your spirit guides actually stand beside you and they literally twiddle their thumbs. And they're like, we can help you. We can help you. Just call on us. Tell us what you want us to help you with and we will help you with. So you need to be clear what is it you want spirit to help you with? So some examples might be, spirit, I am going into a job interview this afternoon. Please guide me and have the best outcome that is meant to be for this situation. Help me with this job interview. 
or spirit, I need help to paying off my credit cards this month. Be very specific. Spirit is there to help you, but you need to get clear on what it is you need help with. So when you're talking to your spirit guides, remember to be specific. Don't be vague. They will help you. I promise you they will help you. Now you gotta understand something. When spirit does help you, it's not like they make a grand entrance, I'm here, and you know, they put lightning bolts in the sky like the movies always show you. No, spirit does nudges. They nudge you very gently. It's very subtle uh, messages spirit usually gives you. Pay attention to birds. Birds are a huge spiritual omen. Um, do you see a lot of synchronicities, coincidences? Like when you look at the clock, do you see a lot of 1111s, 222s, 111s? That's spirit sending you a message. Or spirit nudges you gently. That's what they do. They don't make this grand entrance. It's not like they pick you up, maybe, and drop you where you should be. They give you all of these little nudges. So the little nudges could be repetitive thoughts you're having in your head or how one person might be popping up quite frequently in your head. Maybe you need to connect with this person. Or say you're driving on a highway and you miss your exit, right? And you get mad because you're like, oh man, I'm going to be delayed now at least seven minutes because I missed my exit. How did I miss your exit? Because you weren't supposed to take your exit at that moment at that time. That's simple. Take a deep breath, say thank you. You may not know the reason why, and that's fine. Go to go off the next one. It is what it is. So spirit nudges you gently. Just understand this. They don't do a grand entrance. So for you to see these subtle nudges, you absolutely have to listen and pay attention. That's why I'm plugging from social media or computers, your cell phone, any distractions is so important because the more you unplug, the more chatter you, you hear less of and then you actually see all of the messages. So I'm at the point where I can feel messages coming towards me, or, and then I just stop and I'm kind of, I just kind of stand still and I start listening. And I'm like, hmm, and I start getting curious of why it is I'm feeling what it is. Is it a message coming? Is it a warning? Is it a premonition of some sort? So I need to get curious to decipher what the message actually is. So the important is you have to listen because spirits, guidance and messages is very subtle. The third thing you need to do to connect with your spirit is give gratitude and thanks in advance, always. So I always think after I say my prayer and I ask spirit what it is I want them to do to help me with that for that day, my, my specific request, I always thank them in advance. Spirit loves gratu gratuity because when you're thankful and grateful, it actually raises your vibration. And the more vibration you raise, the less they have to lower their vibration. So it actually amplifies your connection with spirit. So being grateful and just being very loving all raises your vibration. You do it right now, a simple exercise. If I said to you right now, I love, what would you say right next? I love my kids. I love sunsets. Say 20 things of things you absolutely love. I love my morning coffee. I love my gift. Once you say 20 things, pay attention to how you feel. You feel it right in the heart chakra, don't you? Because what's happening is this is opening up. And when your heart chakra opens up, you're raising your vibration. And when you speak and speak it out loud, don't say it in your head. I love, I love. You're opening the airways. So this is actually like a tunnel. So you're opening the airways to your heart chakra to open up and raise your vibrations. And once you raise your vibrations, then that is when you connect with spirit. So try it today. Send me a message. Let me know how it's going. What frustrations are you having with it? And get curious with those frustrations. And guarantee you, once you start your practice, you will start seeing all the subtle messages that spirit actually sends you every single day, but you're just not listening or paying attention to. Anyways, I'm Elena Bain. Click on that like button if you like this video, and I will talk to you soon.